it recording? Mm -hmm. Okay. So she wanted me to tell you what I was explaining to her, which is I'd done my drawings on my antler, and I carved them out with a V-tool, v just like whenever you're doing any carving, you want to set off the lines with a V-tool, and despite that this is a miniature, you still want to set it off with a V-tool, so I, I use this little guy off, you can see that, it's squared head, so I set them off just the same way you would with a, a V-tool uh, gouge. I don't want to pull it out, and so I've set them all off. Now I'm going to hog off, hog away, or what they call hogging material. And so I'm going to use this little one to get in there and just pull away dead meat. This one will be a fun one. It's that little mermaid. She's cute. Okay, here we go. I did these in reverse. Yesterday I was working with a flat and gouging. Today I got a round, which to tell you the truth, I was a little afraid to work on yesterday because that's a little too much more to have to think about when you're learning to work a miniature. Pay attention to your lines, this is going to be coming around. Let's set her back a little bit. Set her little keister off. Because we're working on an arc, we're going to get a lot more a dramatic result as we pull away meat here. In carving terms, this is what's called hogging. We're just brutally removing without regard of what it looks like underneath. We just want to pull material away to set her off. She needs to pop or bump off as you'd say. And it starts off as a low-level relief. This is kind of a low-level relief. One could stop here. I definitely can't stop there. I'll take away more. I'll start pushing her. Like we pushed her butt up and let this look like it's coming around a little bit more. This hand is going off to the distance. So we'll push that hand out there. It's alright if we lose a little bit of it. We'll pick it back up. Just don't kill your outside V-line and you see where it is. We'll come in with this to kind of set off where that hand's going out here. There. See, that hand would have a little bit of a wrist. I'm going to try to taper it into a wrist. Just a little nubbin. It's like a gesture of a hand. So her shoulder's going to be kind of the highest point. Remove all this back and again, setting her waist so we can 
set that butt off. And her face, her face is also on that side, kind of where her, her hand is, so we'll push. Well, it's okay if we lose detail here, we can pick it back up with another gouge. And we kind of want to push that face back that way. Just subtle gestures. You don't want to get all crazy, cut away stuff you need. That's a terrible lesson I have to learn the hard way. So I like miniature, it works fast on as far as the idea gets out. I like hard because it makes me slow down. Kind of take it easy in phases so I know what I'm pulling away. See? Now we're starting to get mermaidy. Now I want her hair to be sort of out. Probably even looking more along the lines out than even her tail. This tail I'm going to kind of fix up a little bit when we go. But her hair... I want her hair to actually be leaving the, the pendant bounds. So we'll cut it out later. I can come jag it out and the pendant will have her hair separate. I want her hair kind of, if you see what I'm doing there, kind of get her hair to pop off the piece itself. Now we'll just pull. We just need some... Keep her shoulder out. That can help keep pull that idea of that tail going around. Don't lose that tail mark. That's okay. Hairs out further. There we go. Now we're starting to get something that resembles something 